Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 14 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. I wish it could be possible to show you a new technique each time I upload a part of this series. But sometimes I just can't because I need to follow the flows of the tasks still open. So I will simply continue adding some more paper rock to the layout, modify one of the stairs, start adding some vegetation here and there, and show you a new usage for the moldable plastic. The time of the gathering, the time when each building should be aligned randomly on the layout before starting the long process of uh, assigning the correct position to each one, is finally approaching. I still have a task started a very long time ago and still open, still unfinished, that is bothering me. I'm talking about that little pump down there, the little monster pump. I can't leave it like that in plain sight in the middle of the lake. I need some way to hide it, to conceal it. And I will use the moldable plastic. The moldable plastic that I've introduced you during part 3 of this series. I will surely not uh, show you the entire process, starting from the hard plastic granules transformed in soft plastic by submerging the granules into hot boiling water, but I will simply bring here and the softened uh, plastic and start molding it in order to try to find a way to conceal and the pump. Then I will wait for the plastic to harden before continue the process. See you in just a few minutes.
Uh, let's talk for a moment about these stairs here. It's the only case where I don't have at least one vertical wall from one of the side of the stairs. So I will need to add two fences, one from each side. But if I do so, let's try it. Roughly done, but like that. I will not have enough space in the middle to let people, to let figurines walk through. So I will need to modify somehow these stairs. As I told you many times before, a Christmas village is always on the move until the last day. So you will probably need to do something not one time, not two times, but many times. And this is the case. Uh, last time I thought that the stairs was completed, just uh, needed to add some fences, but I then realized that I will not have enough space placing two fences. The quickest uh, solution is to remove uh, some pins from uh, this side, the side of the railroads, the tracks are down there and uh, use uh, the mountain, the rock, as a natural wall.
minutes later uh, the plastic has uh, almost completely turned hard again the hard task uh, I had some minutes ago uh, was that I didn't want the plastic to stick to anything I want it removable like in this case so it was I was uh, struggling a little bit when I was molding the plastic with the, my hands <clears throat> I want it removable because I still need to paint it and to do some work on it I'm just marking right now the part uh, a little bit the part that will be submerged because obviously the two parts need different colors some more greens toward the part uh, submerged because of the algaes that will attack that will attach to the to the rock and uh, some more brownish uh, for the part that it's not submerged I have uh, these little prolongations here because I need the plastic to be fixed to the styrofoam so I will surely uh, make some holes uh, here and there uh, and uh, uh, stick the plastic to the styrofoam with some pins or something uh, like that even if uh, like that the plastic is almost stable but I want to avoid it moving around certainly I will have to add more water into the lake once I will restart the process again because the plastic is um, stealing in some sort of way some volume from the lake uh, but this is a problem I need to face lately now what I still need to do with uh, this uh, added plastic obviously I need uh, to paint it but before I need uh, to tool it a little bit I need to tool the surface because now it's not uh, very realistic and then I will paint it and uh, I need uh, to uh, waterproof all the painting because half of the uh, let's call it of the rock will be submerged so I need uh, the paint to be uh, waterproof I don't know yet if I will use the same uh, water resistant glue that I've used for the riverbed or if I will use some sort of uh, spray lacking
right now almost the totality of the surfaces that need to be covered by rock paper are done. I still have some minor adjustments to do, but not now. This because in the near future I will have, in fact, to remove some parts of the rock paper because I will have to hide the power cables from the buildings and get them through somewhere. Then I will replace the rock paper. Everything needs to be in standby. As usual, I've been too long, so I will not have time to show you how I start placing some vegetation. It will be for next time, but let me end this part 14 of the series by showing you the result of the rock I've made to cover the pump. Here is the final result. I still need to waterproof it, but it is a long process. I will not have the time to do it right now <clears throat> because I have to do multiple layers of uh, waterproofing. But let me just place it where it belongs, right there, to show you the final <coughs> result. <clears throat> I don't think it is a bad result. I just think that I could have done it better, but I did it in a rush very quickly so I can't pretend anything more. The white dry brush, obviously I did it only on the part of the rock that isn't submerged. And for the part that is submerged I've used some uh, yellowish color, it is sienna brown in this case, uh, to simulate uh, some uh, algae, and that's all for part 14. Bye. Sadly, it seems that I can't stop fighting against time, and as usual, I couldn't keep on my promises. But at least by now, you should be used to it, and you already figured out what will be the first argument for next part of the series. As I told you, the gathering is approaching and I'm really worried. I'm worried because after doing some estimates I don't think I will have enough free space to place all the buildings I want for this year village. Most probably I will have to come up with something to create some additional space. Practically mission impossible without having a round Tom Cruise. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.